Santa Maria is a town that can be reached from several different directions. If you come from Alaro across the almond groves, you'll find the remains of the old cobblestone Roman road. The town belongs to the area of Ezraguer and covers the area of around 38 square kilometers. It has a water supply which reaches the valley through Toronte, and it's believed that this is why the Arabs first settled here. It's also why the farmhouse Camarosa was built here. This property and the country house of Santorea was mentioned in archives as far back as the 14th century. After the conquest of King Jaime I and the fall of Parma into the hands of the Christians in 1229, there was a second battle in this area. The great Arab armies followed the former Roman way northeast in the direction of the Cami, the town of Santa Maria, to find shelter in the castle of Araro. However, they failed to get there. Later, almost half of the island fell into the king's hands without any resistance. Today, around 1,300 inhabitants, called Santa Maria's, live in this municipality, which is 130 metres above sea level. During the week, it's a peaceful place. But that all changes every Sunday when the market is on, starting early in the morning. Yeah, no. In Santa Maria, two spires stand out as landmarks. One of them belongs to the parish church. The current church was built in the 18th century and is dedicated to Nuestra Señora del Calmi, the local virgin. The origins of the current monastery began in the 16th century, when a monastery located on the outskirts of Parma was moved to a place equidistant between Parma and Alcudia. Its inner cloister is open to the public during the day. The town of Santa Maria is known far and wide for its textile industry. For the last three generations, the family Bujosa has been making and working with linen. They manufacture yengas, which is a fabric of cotton, linen and silk, woven with a complex technique called picard. This creates motifs thanks to the colours of the weave. The looms, that are reminiscent of machines from the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, are operated by six workers although this is still a family business. At dusk, the silhouette of the Sierra de Tramontana, the Tramontana mountain range, can be seen from Santa Maria in a clear blue colour. Between the peaks of the Castel de Alro and San Cadena, you can see the top of Tossels Verdes. And further to the north, the impressive hilltops of Massinea can be seen. Mm -hmm. 